what, what I just experienced, was that me? What was you, darling? That man in the armor, was that me? Yes, that was your spirit. Our spirits live on in the, the whole of time, mm. exist in many vessels through time. This is the vessel you're existing in now, in 1950. Excuse me. As you all may recall, during the trauma that you went through while we were processing, yes. it was of the utmost importance that you experience every detail, every specific detail, through all of your senses, of that memory, and that we go over it again, and over it again, and over it again, until it loses its power. This is very... Excuse me. This is very important. Why it is important... Excuse me. ...is if you bring someone mm -hmm. out of a traumatic event back to the present time, no matter how carefully you do that... Excuse me. If you have not gone over the memory... Excuse me. Excuse me. Some of this sounds quite like hypnosis. Is it not? This is a process of dehypnotization, if you will. Man is asleep. This process wakes him from his slumber. I still find it difficult to see the proof with regards to past lives that your movement claims. Would you care to submit yourself to processing? You look through the telescope, as my friend said. Well, perhaps another time. You've also said that these methods, cause methods, can cure leukemia, according to your book. And Some you forms said. of leukemia. Mm -hmm. In being able to access past lives, we are able to treat illnesses that may have started back thousands, even trillions of years. Trillions? With a T, sir. <laughs> the Earth is not understood to be more than a few billion years old. Well, even the smartest of our current scientists can be fooled. Yes. You can understand Skepticism. Yes, oh, yes, yes. For without it, we'd be positives and no negatives. Therefore, zero charge. We must have it. Good science, by definition, allows for more than one opinion. Which is it? why our gathering of data is so far reaching. Otherwise, you merely have the will of one man, which is the basis of cult. Is it not? It is, it is. And thankfully, we are, all of us, working at breakneck speeds and in unison towards capturing the mind's fatal flaws and correcting it back to its inherent state of perfect. Whilst writing civilization and eliminating war and poverty and therefore the atomic threat. <laughs> well, <laughs> I find it quite difficult to comprehend or more to the point, believe that you believe, sir that time travel hypnosis therapy can bring world peace and cure cancer. I have never been to the pyramids, have you? No. And yet we know that they are there. Because learned men have told us so. May I ask, what is your name? John Moore. Mr. Moore, if I may. Is there something frightening to you about the causes travels into the past? Frightening? Yes. No. no. What, what's, what, what scares you so much about traveling into the past, sir? I'm not Are you afraid that we might discover that our past has been reshapen, perverted? And perhaps what we think we know of this world is false information. Time travel does not frighten me, sir, because it's not possible. What does frighten me is the possibility of some poor soul oh, of leukemia oh, there are dangers coming to you. traveling in and out of time, as we understand it. But it's not unlike traveling down a river, you see. You travel down the river, round the bend, look back. And you cannot see around the bend, can you? But that does not mean it is not there, does it? But certain clubs would like us to think that a truth, I say truth, uncovered should stay hidden. I belong to no club. And if you're unwilling to allow any discussion... No, this isn't a discussion, it's a grilling. There's nothing I can do for you if your mind has been made up. You seem to know the answers to your questions. Why do you ask? I'm sorry you're unwilling to defend your beliefs in any kind of rational way. Oh, if, if, if you, if you, if, if you already know way? the answers to your questions, then why ask pig fuck? We are not helpless. And we are on a journey that risks the dark. If you don't mind, a good night to you.